a cheering crowd at this airport in Iran's capital early Wednesday. Chanting Elnaz is a heroine. They gave a warm welcome to competitive climber Elnaz Rakabi, who recently competed in South Korea without wearing a headscarf, breaking Iran's strict dress code. Now back at home, the 33-year-old, wearing a baseball cap and hoodie, says she is in full health. She apologized to the people of Iran for the turbulence and worry she created. She also repeated the explanation she shared earlier on social media, pointing to poor scheduling as the reason she competed without a hijab, saying she'd been called to climb unexpectedly and that not having her head covered was entirely accidental. Rakabi denying reports she'd been unreachable for 48 hours, and she says her team returned to Iran as planned. But there is concern about her safety going forward, and questions over whether she was pressured to apologize by the Islamic Republic. Her return home coming as protests calling for women's rights continue in Iran for a fifth week. The demonstration sparked by the death of Masa Amini while in custody. The 22-year-old was arrested by Iran's morality police for allegedly wearing her headscarf too loosely. Her family says she was beaten to death. Officials say she suffered a heart attack. Rights groups believe more than 200 people have been killed in the unrest and thousands arrested as Iran's clerical rulers face their biggest challenge in years. And an update on Rakabi from the International Federation of Sport Climbing, saying it held a meeting with the International Olympic Committee and Iranian athletic officials. In a statement, the group says, the IOC and the IFSC receive clear assurance that Ms. Rakabi will not suffer any consequences and will continue to train and compete. Amnesty International, though, fears she may face arbitrary arrest and torture for violating Iran's compulsory veiling rules. Melissa Duggan, City News.